Jim Diamond Seda, we have breaking news. The New York Tri-State area just experienced a 4.8 earthquake coming out of western New Jersey, about 50 miles outside of New York City. Our senior investigative reporter, Aaron Kaczorski, joins me now. Aaron, we actually felt this in the studio while on the air. What are you learning about this? It was a 4.8 magnitude earthquake that was centered, according to the U.S. Geological Survey, in New Jersey, about 50 miles west of, of New York City. But it was felt all over the tri-state, several seconds of sustained shaking. There's no immediate word of potential impacts, but right now damage assessments are being done uh, here in New York City by the police and fire departments. Uh, Con Edison, which is the uh, provider of electricity for much of New York City, is also checking to see whether there are any reports of power outages. And a moment ago, the governor of New York, Kathy Hochul, uh, issued a, a statement on social media saying that her teams are also uh, checking. So we're still waiting to find out uh, the severity of impact, but millions of people certainly felt this all over the tri-state area. Aaron, is there any sense of how equipped this area is for earthquakes? Well, it's not like Southern California, that's for sure, right. uh, that there's a lot of things uh, that, that are built to certain codes here. Earthquakes generally are not are not one of them, uh, but uh, skyscrapers, uh, as you see on your screen now in, in Manhattan, are, are built to withstand uh, quite a lot. 4.8, thankfully, is not a, a, as strong as certainly it could be, uh, but nonetheless, teams are checking because there are a lot of older structures, uh, especially in and around New York City, that could potentially be impacted. So, Aaron, what happens after an event like this? You know, thankfully, as far as we know so far, nothing catastrophic here. But does a quake like this make the city and, and the tri-state area maybe revisit some of those codes? I'm not sure it does, but it, it certainly is getting a lot of people talking. You know, we've had uh, a lot of messages yes. from uh, uh, friends and relatives, from coworkers, saying I felt it here, there, and everywhere. So I, I think it will be something that people talk about on their on their you know Friday mid morning here. But the um, I'm not sure earthquake codes are necessarily the same priority as they are in other parts of uh, of the country and the world. Uh, although it, the same principles do seem to apply because of the impact of, of hurricanes and flooding and the other kinds of natural events that the area sustains. And we're also now hearing that the fire department is being dispatched in Long Valley, New Jersey for multiple structures with reports of structural damage. Uh, Aaron, how difficult is it to be getting information right well, now? It, 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 it's only because it's early. Uh, it's not because we're losing any kind of communications. Mm. Uh, I've, I've been in touch uh, just by text message with uh, the police and fire departments uh, in and around New York City, with the mayor's office, and they're all at this point monitoring, although you, you just mentioned the, the uh, fire department in that community of New Jersey, closer to where uh, the earthquake was centered. So at the moment, communications do seem to be stable, uh, which is certainly good news, uh, and, and teams are just checking to, to see whether this actually had structural impact. All right, and the FDNY, the federal, the, the fire department here in New York City is saying no initial reports of damage from the earthquake uh, here in the city, but of course we will continue monitoring the story. Again, a 4.8 earthquake hit the New York tri-state area, originating in New Jersey, about 50 miles west of New York City. So far, we are getting early reports of, of some damage, uh, perhaps in that area of New Jersey, the fire department has been dispatched there to check that out. Uh, but so far, the fire department in New York City says no damage with, within the city limits. Uh, we, of course, will be staying on top of this. The governor of New York now says uh, authorities here are also surveying for damage across the state. And we will continue to keep you posted. Aaron Katursky, thank you.